source with your first alert forecast. KCRG TV 9 News at 10 starts now. People just don't tell them how things turn out um, or show them um, gratitude, and they should because I know without them I wouldn't be here. An Iowa woman is thanking first responders who saved her after a rollover accident in Johnson County a year ago. The accident happened near IWV Road Southwest and Cosgrove Road Southwest. That's just outside of Tiffin. The volunteers from the Tiffin and Oxford Fire Departments got there quickly and were able to get Kathy Gerling and her grandson out of the vehicle and to the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics. She is now almost fully recovered and KCRG TV 9's Becky Phelps joins us live in our studio. How she's sharing her experience and why, Becky? Data from the National Volunteer Fire Council shows 65% of the more than 1 million firefighters in the U.S. are volunteers. Kathy Gerling knows firsthand just how important those volunteers are, and she wants others to know it too. Oh my gosh, what else, what, what can I say? I'm going to start crying. They saved my life. I know they did. It's hard for Kathy Gerling to find the words to thank the first responders who came to her and her grandson's rescue after a vehicle accident in March of 2023. Noah and I were talking and then I remember white, just white, and that was the airbag. After that, I remember being upside down and there was grass and glass and I said, where's Noah? Her injuries were extensive. I had um, my C1 and 2 vertebra were fractured, um, several broken ribs. Both of my legs were broken. But now she's made a near full recovery and on Monday got to meet and thank her heroes in person. I am just thankful and grateful and blessed to still be here. Local officials presented citizen life-saving awards to the more than 20 first responders from five different organizations who played a part in saving Gerling and her grandson. It's just great to see Kathy here. It's great to see anyone um, come back and be able to thank us and it just feels good to kind of get that feeling that uh, we were able to help someone in a positive way. The world today, we need more heroes. We need more volunteers who are saving Kathy's. Tiffin Mayor Tim Kasparik says as the city continues to grow, these volunteers become even more critical. We had 570 calls last year. We haven't missed a call in two years, which is just phenomenal. And that's a 270% growth from 2018. Um, and that just doesn't happen without a really good core of individuals who care a lot, I think. Rowling says she hopes all volunteer first responders see more recognition like this and that more people continue to step up to save lives. And I wanted to let them know that I too appreciated what they did. Um, this is huge. People just don't tell them how things turn out um, or show them um, gratitude, and they should, because I know without them I wouldn't be here. The Tiffin Fire Department encourages anyone interested in volunteering for their local departments to reach out and apply. In the studio, Becky Phelps, KCRG TV9 News. Well, Cedar Rapids